you answer the question, do you need to change the brake fluid on your car? Now brake fluid is really strong, it takes all the pressure to stop your car, but there's one problem with brake fluid, it's hydroscopic. And that means that the brake fluid, when air comes in contact with it, will absorb water vapor and eventually it goes bad. That's why after you use brake fluid, always put the top on nice and tight, because you don't want water vapor getting inside and ruining the fluid. Now your brake system is a relatively sealed system, but it does have a vent in the cap because it has to let a little bit of air in and out when you step on the brake as the fluid goes up and down. So over time the water vapor compromises how the fluid compresses and it can also cause corrosion inside the system if there's too much water. Now this process of water getting inside the system can take years before it does any damage, so you don't want to waste your money flushing it all the time when you don't need to. But you don't want to ruin expensive parts like anti-lock brake modules, so what can you do? Well here's what you can do, you can test this with a little machine like this, this one only cost me 35 bucks. It's a very simple process, you just stick it in the master cylinder, push the button and it tests it. In this case it's okay, it's less than 1%, so you don't need to flush it out. So when I mean a long time, sometimes I mean a really long time. This car is more than 10 years old, fluid's never been changed, and it's still okay. But of course it's a Toyota. I've seen some American cars that you got to change the fluid after four or five years because they have more air getting into the system and they can be destroyed faster that way. Now let's say you had an American car and you needed to flush it out. Well, it's kind of hard to get all the fluid out yourself. You might think about paying a mechanic like me that has a power flush machine to flush it all out, but you can get a lot of it out doing this way. You can get one of these squeegee bulbs that they sell at auto parts store for putting water in batteries. Then you can take the top off the brake canister and suck the fluid out of it. Then once you suck all the fluid out, you fill it up with new brake fluid. Then you can bleed all the calipers out. First you do the right rear one. Just have somebody step on the brake full blast while you open the bleeder valve to bleed all the old fluid out. Then bleed the left rear brake, then the right front brake, and then the left front brake. That will get most of the brake fluid out and make it so that it doesn't have all that water in it anymore. So the next time somebody tells you they need your brake fluid changed, have it tested first so you don't waste your money. And remember, if your car has any problems, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel. Before it's too late.